call this meeting of OIK Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 23rd day of July 2024 at 5 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Master Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. Lord, we come to you tonight praising you and giving you thanks, Lord. We just ask you to be with us tonight, Lord. Help us, give us the strength, the courage, and the wisdom to do your will, Lord, and let be pleasing to you. And God, we just pray that you'll be with our country as, Lord, we're in terrible shape, Lord. But God, be with each and every one tonight. Be with the core as we make decisions. Lead, guide, and give us strength, courage, and wisdom. In Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the uh, July the 9th meeting, I need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Motion by Brian Daniels. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passes. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including the late list and the extra late list. Need a motion to approve the house. I want a motion to approve. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Michael McKinney. We got a question. Okay. And on page three on community contributions, how come there's two different numbers or different accounts? Uh, what are you looking at there? I'm looking at my account and the other four, and mine is a different number than what the other four was. Well, that's to keep each of them separate. Keep what? That's to keep each account separate. Uh, he's saying you they mean are. the dollar amount? All, all the others, one, two, three, four, five, is the same number except mine is different. You mean the dollar amount? No, no. Well, yeah, but the account number. Oh. Those are voucher numbers. They're like check numbers. The system issues a voucher. Well, how come all four of them was the same and mine's different? Well, because you didn't contribute any money to sleep in heavenly peace. Yours went to the Rogue and Fire Department. Where's that? Theirs was all the same sleep in heavenly peace. It's the same account, correct? No, each 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 magistrate has a separate account. Those are voucher numbers you're looking at. It's like a check number. All in favor say aye. Opposed like sign. Bills are paid. You have the treasurer's uh, June financial statement for you. I acknowledge we got it. Motion by Jason. Second by Bobin. Any discussion or questions for Ann? Being none on purpose, aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion passed. Okay, the year end for the for the uh, year, the fiscal year that just ended, June 30th. You have a, a settlement there. We need to approve that pending, uh, pending audit. These are here. That is man, the treasurer's. Yes. Yeah. Make a motion. I'll second. This motion, motion by Michael. Second by Jason. Any questions? Discussions? Michael and uh, yeah. the one on your left is number Okay, no questions. All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, so 
Opposed like sign. Let's done. Okay, we're going to move on a little different. We're going to have an order because the uh, transportation folks are here. And uh, Scott, why don't you come on up and do your presentation. And every one of you, and introduce all your folks with you there. This is District 2 uh, Transportation. Good evening. Good evening. David and, and the rest of the police court. Uh, so we'll begin, uh, most of you know me, Scott Phelps, I'm Transportation Engineer Supervisor for KYTC over maintenance in Davis, Hancock, and Ohio counties. Uh, Denitra Henderson here, who is our Chief District Engineer, and Matthew West, who is our Branch Manager. And then we got Clayton, who is just learning this business. So he's he's getting a, a full experience tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll get into the numbers. I uh, did make an error on one page that Matt just uh, pointed out to me. So I wish it were true, but it's not. Uh, so our total funding is going to be one point three million dollars. Uh, the flex funds for the county. 365430 Our state funds is $960,718. So our first recommendation, we have found a culvert on 1414. That is a big culvert. It's a double barrel uh, culvert that was put in probably 60, 70 years ago, steel plate, and it's rusting. Um, we're going to try to replace that with a big aluminum box. Instead of being a double barrel, it'll be just one big wide box. That one is, is projected to be about $650,000. We do have an issue on that where there's a driveway coming off of that that could pose a problem. We're going to have to talk to the property owner about realigning their driveway a little bit. So the error is on the next one uh, for. <laughs> $250. Yeah, I wish we could pave two miles of road for $250. That's going to be $250,000, i am sorry. We wouldn't accept that one. Yeah, I wish we could. Wish we could. We'd have everyone in the county paved. Uh, we're going to resurface a portion of 505 uh, beginning, uh, going, well, if you're going backwards from US 622 over to O'Layton. And that's going to be from the 11.75 to the 14.1 three for 2.3 uh, miles, $250,000. Now, I do have an alternative for number one there on 1414. If you so desire, we could continue paving on 505. We should be able to get about another four miles of paving on 505 if you want. That would go from 62 over towards US 231. So it's up to the fiscal court how you want, which way you want us to go on that. So how bad is number one? Number one, is that we something have, that can be? We have reduced the weight on it one time. We've already reduced the rate, the weight on it once. I can't tell you how long it's going to take before. I think it's around 25 tons is the weight limit on it right now. Is that now. the one with the school bus? Is they've been having issues with the school bus and it has to go around? No, that we took care of that one a couple of years ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, this one is right at the 8.3 mile marker. Um, you come around the curve. There's a mobile home sits off to the right. The driveway comes off to the right at an angle. And um, do you know where the place is where the, the there's like the trailer sitting there where they got the Schwann's bed sitting on it. And there's a camper off on the right. I know what you're talking about, close to uh, Ammon Lane? Yes, I believe so. Okay. So, yes, it, this culvert is right before that. Uh, went and looked at it, and one of the barrels is almost full of silt now. So, the aluminum box that we would put in would be slightly bigger than what the flow area is now. But I just don't know. We've got the money now, and that's the reason I put this on here, was I don't know what the future is going to bring. Are we going to have the money next year or are we going to have it the year after if we need to? Well, and you're also talking about a project that was done 60 to 70 years ago with a lot of erosion. Yes. I don't think it would be a bad idea, you know, to go forward with that. You know, yeah, I don't mind either. It's a safety issue. So, yeah. I was thinking, you know, you get four miles of 
But I understand that that's right. a fact because, golly, that seems like a lot of money to replace that. Yeah, yeah the, the culvert itself was priced at $375,000, but you got to do excavation work. We've got to relocate that driveway. Because right now, there's only a few inches of rock between the driveway and the top of that culvert. So we really need to move that culvert off of it, so we'll have to realign their driveway, and that's going to drive up some of the cost. Now, uh, what, we, what I could do is we get this design, we get this designed, and we get it to letting. And if it's less than that, then I go back and on to put the extra money on 505. That sounds like a good proposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm not sad because I mean I know you it's kind of sometimes out of your hand, but those are that's an extremely expensive yes. project. And, and that's the reason that I put it on here is because with the nine hundred thousand dollars ago, we've had years where we didn't have much. So yeah. I think well we got the money, let's look at getting getting it done. And I can take any excess and we can put that on five oh five as well. Any other concerns about the plan, or no? It it sounds like you uh, have it figured out. So I guess, gentlemen, we need a motion to uh, say that we like the idea that you brought to us. Uh, well, you need to make sure also in your motion that this day you're going to keep your place funds. Yeah. Yes. Hey, I, I think. I, I think. Don't leave that out. Hey, I think for sure. Even if we forget to say it, she won't leave it out. Yeah, unless you just want me to, you know. But I will take the two hundred and fifty dollars. I've been doing this for several years. You know what I like about what he does? You know, he he doesn't have a project for flex funds because he knows. <laughs> he knows what he's going to do. So. Yeah, he knows that. Now, so, one more question. Yes. How basic will this project be? How much traffic are you talking about? The last culvert we put in, the contractor got it installed within a week. Okay. I mean, we had a, we, we did, well, there were 14, 14, 14, that was fairly big, and they got it done within a week. And we, what we had, that was stipulated it had to be done during specific times, like spring break or over the summer. So that way it didn't disrupt the All right. school traffic. That's, that's what I really wanted to know right there. Yes, that, that know, is before, something that, before we pulled the trigger. Yeah, that is something that we try to plan around is, is to make sure that if we're going to have it shut down, then it's the least disruption possible. All right, I've got that now. Okay. Uh, go ahead and, and make that motion, one of you guys. I'll, I'll make the motion for us to keep our flex funds and for us to do what we want with them and for these uh, recommendations that we go ahead and do. Uh, what you recommended, and if there's any excess money from the 650, we put that toward Jason's project on the 505. <laughs> That's Larry's project. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's actually Larry's. But it, yeah, you can do it. It'd be great. I make a second on the motion. All right. Any discussion? If you have any left over, I got a call about the ditch behind your drive, behind your house, kind of back over through there. <laughs> I thought about that city, it's behind your backyard, but you know, <laughs> it, you guys can take that over. <laughs> I, I asked Larry Carter to, to take care of that ditch there behind the house or in the alley. Yeah. They went and did the other side. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, they called me and I was like, but that's behind your house. I don't know if they can really. So, yeah. All right. Thank um, you. All folks, say aye. Aye. like that. Thank you very much. I'll tell you a real a something that I thought was funny. Uh, several years ago, we had a program called Bridging Kentucky, and the state highway department took care of the bridges from that program on the county roads as well as it did state. And Johnson School Road is number fourteen fourteen, County Road fourteen fourteen. So the word went out to the school board that the certain mile marker on 1414 was closed and they done a lot of shuffling to get their things done and then it didn't close because it wasn't that road. So you gotta always watch that. Uh, 
And we don't have any projects like that anymore, but I wish you could identify our county road name too whenever we have a county project. Because very few people know those by numbers, they know them by name. But appreciate it. Thank you all very much, very much for coming. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go back on back in here. Uh, the group of people, Larry, is there somebody, anybody with you, or is it just you? It's me. Go ahead and come up and tell us about the, what you need here. Thank you. And my name is Larry Castile, and I ride a motorcycle a lot. I don't get out and party and get drunk and all that on and ride, but I do ride my bike. Get closer to Mike. I, I Anyway, I do ride my bikes, and uh, when you're riding down a road and you fall into a curve and you see this grass float all over the road like a half inch thick, and that motorcycle hits that in that curve, you're gonna wreck. I mean, it ain't if I'm gonna wreck, you're gonna wreck. And we, we really need to get that stopped. I mean, a lot of states have passed the laws that you can't blow grass in the road in a lot of states. Kentucky has not passed that law yet, but we need to get an ordinance in Ohio County where it won't be happening in Ohio County. And it's, I mean, that, that's my pitch for what I'd like to get done. Uh, we did know about and have talked a little bit. Justin's actually done some work on it. Uh, you know, it's, in, it's in a package, as a matter of fact, what he draw it up. Uh, the uh, uh, some of the guys here is not really ready to go on that particular way we wrote it. They want to discuss it more. So what I want to do is sign this to the road committee, and the road committee will meet, at the, but just before the next fiscal court meeting. That's the seven. Yeah. We just got an email this afternoon about it. So yeah. I, and so it's going to go to road committee at four o'clock before the next court meeting. All right. And, you know, I appreciate you guys if you get something done about it. I really do. It'd be I had a question about it. That's yeah. 13. I, I did look it over. Um, so it's going to say that this passes. And we, we, we pass this and there's no uh, blowing grass in the road. Who would police that? I mean, we, we need someone. You know, to, I talked to Adam Wright about it and he said he'd be more than happy to police it. Okay. I mean, so you got, you got your, your deputies. You, know, you got your city police, and even in Ohio County, the state police would be policing it through the county. So would we need to set fines for that? Yeah, well, so the, you know, the judge had indicated that uh, we may need just a proposed ordinance. We put uh, together what different ordinances have uh, indicated that they wish to stop it regarding the debris on the road. But this is kind of all-inclusive, so it has everything on there. You can certainly redact or take some of the things away. Uh, and so on this, as far as this ordinance, we kind of, in all likelihood, who's going to get the call would probably be Charlie or Adams. And so I've had the emergency management director would be the one to issue some type of warning, the first offense, and then, uh, then there would be fines associated with it. Uh, again, this is just an initial proposal, and Larry, if you want to pick one up so that you can look to see if it covers whatever you're wanting. Uh, but this is kind of what I've seen, what other places have done in a general manner. But yeah. again, we, we, we added this, this, this does not, this ordinance, so if you want to, again, redact a few things, this would also include if someone were to, um, uh, you know, purposely have other debris come onto the road in some other way. Not just a mower blowing grass onto the road, but if some type of... I did kind of see like mud and gravel, which I know sometimes we've had a lot of huge rains right now and the water's across the road. Well, in that situation, but are they responsible to, you know, that's they can drive a gravel driveway? That's an act of God, Jason. But I'm saying though, they... Okay. So, and, and some of that wording can be taken out to make sure that if it is a hard rain or flooding or not an intentional act, that is not what this is to cover. You know, yeah. if it's if it's it's a common courtesy thing more than anything, mm -hmm. really. Did 
once you get done mowing, you just take the mower around and blow it right back into the. You don't have to blow it in the road. I, I, I'm yeah. my yard meets the road, but I don't blow mine in the road. My son don't either. You know, we blow it back in the yard. Yeah, but then when the wind blows, it's going to blow it back out there. It's going to be a little hard to pass something like this. But when something like this goes through, that just opens the door for more rules and regulations. Well, I think law enforcement would be very, you know, they would use their uh, judgment on, on these things. I don't think it'd be overbearing. And there's just a few offenders that really do this so badly over the county. We've got a few that seem like they like to do it. Justin, have you seen, I know you said, Larry, other states. Is well, Kentucky attempted to try to pass something. Matter of fact, I think C.B. Emory put something on a few years ago. It didn't pass on the state level. Uh, I, in the research, I've not seen a whole lot of you know, ordinances mm -hmm. uh, on a countywide basis. You see them more on cities as opposed to the counties. Uh, a lot of that seems to be more making the city look good type thing because they had in, in uh, some of their ordinances brush uh, uh, clean up and those things to for, for, for line of sight for travel and everything. So I've not seen a, a, a considerable amount of ordinances passed on the fiscal court level. Uh, but I do know that uh, there is that issue that's been, been out there with respect to some of the concerns with the riders. It is kind of a city issue because it mentions sidewalks and storm drains and city county don't have none of those. Yeah, so some of that stuff you can be, you see, some of that stuff that would apply with regard to the uh, wash off and those things that, that you could remove from this. If you want it limited simply to the blowing of grass, if that's the, the then we need to amend this ordinance to uh, limit that scope in quite a Quite yeah, that's why we're going to discuss it that okay. uh, 13th uh, meeting, 13th uh, road committee meeting. And I, I you know, just personally, I think that I wish people would just, like you said, you can turn your blade if you don't blow your grass up next to the house. You just kind of, you know, a couple strips and, and it's just for even, it looks well, bad, you know, whether two, that is dangerous or not. There's two places, I live on Silver Beach Road, there's two places on Silver Beach Road. Every time they mow their yard, if you hit that with a motorcycle, you're going to go down. One of them is, is just past A.G. Daniels Road, back toward 231. And the other one is Mike Johnston's um, mom and dad's old house out there. And th those two places are really bad. And I think he meant if a motorcycle hits it, you're done. Like this little, talk about it at 4 o'clock? Two weeks. Third, I think, yeah. Thanks a lot, Larry. And okay. we Thank are you, considered, Larry. like I said, Justin worked on it, got this much brought to us, but didn't really have the time for these guys to get their minds around it. So we're going to take this committee. All the motorcycle guys I talked to was all tied up, but they would have been here. Grim Reapers would have been sitting here, but they're in a meeting in, in Owensboro. Yeah. So maybe they can come visit us again. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Okay, uh, you have before you have ordinance uh, 2025 dash one, that's the budget amendment, second reading. We've already passed the first reading. This is second. Is that allowing the, the bring the bringing extra funds? I'll make a motion to motion with Jason Bull. What's it allowing then? It amends then our surplus money. We already did the first reading of it. Yeah, the last meeting. So I have second. Second by Bobin. Any discussion? Being none. Uh, it's the ordinance you got a roll call. Daniel? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? Yes. 
So that that that's an ordinance is in effect now. Uh, we have a resolution. This is for uh, I'll keep looking at Jason and Christina's not here, but they they have a resolution that we need to pass for them to get their KPDI money. And that's for the money that that's for the part they're working on right now. Yes. Yes. I'll make that motion. Motion by Jason Bullock. It's for what, Judge? It's uh, it's for the the uh, OCDA to uh, use the money that they've got. They have to have an ordinance for it. It's the road extension now. Not an ordinance, I mean a resolution. Out at the uh, industrial park that they've been working on. You've seen your, or even our county people are out there working on it. So. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Michael McKinney. Any discussion? Being none, I'll first say aye. Opposed like sign. Motion passes. I don't see Bess here or anybody from her office, but uh, she sent her, her uh, June financial report over for us to receive. I think we got the clerk's conference this week. I spoke through this one. Okay. We just acknowledge it. Yeah, that, that's all we do on this one. I'll acknowledge it. Motion yeah. yeah. by Jason. Second. They'll be all. Second by Bob. Any more discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. <coughs> Transfer of delinquent taxes. I believe that's where it comes from the sure. sheriff's office to the clerk's office, I believe. Yes. But we need to approve the. Acknowledge having received. Have the, yeah. I'll make that acknowledgement. Motion by Jason. Second. Second by Brown. Is there any discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion to carry. Uh, annual review of county report for fiscal year ending 2024. Is that the big, thick one we said? Okay. So, uh, and if you don't mind telling what this is, just then 15 more, words or less. That just gives a more detailed view by department as to what revenue was bought, brought in and what expenditures were. How much it's was not, left over other budget? No. It when just shows what revenues. That? It's on your financial report for the June, ending June. So uh, I think she just want to make sure y'all have this. I don't really know that we. It's not required by state. It's not required. I do but every she year. wanted to make sure that you had it. So, and that's good. That's part of our uh, openness. Showing that we're transparency is the word I'm looking for. Part of our transparency policy. Yeah, I acknowledge that we received it. Both by Jason. Second by Bob. Any further discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Hold the like sign. That's passed. Okay. Uh, Bob, uh, you were going to uh, discuss this with the, the water district and made a request to us and, uh, and they have to have authorization to do that. Yep, so uh, they're looking for authorization from the judge. Uh, they had a meeting and uh, they brought up two uh, different options to do with the um, money that was allocated for the Chickerville water line. Um, the first was signing the grant um, to move forward with the Chickerville water line. Uh, and the second was to authorize the grant to be reallocated. Um, the board unanimously decided to um, reallocate the money to uh, 54 unserved uh, 
homes. Um, so with doing this, um, we can either sign this documentation, giving the, the water board uh, the means to proceed, or the money uh, will be forfeited and nobody will be uh, served. Nobody would what? Nobody would be served. So we're just going to drop the Chickerville project? Uh, according to the water board, that's how they voted. And uh, I'll tell you a little history on it. Uh, the, the water board took it to grad, and they had authority to. There was no problem with that. But they brought it for my signature. And since it had been discussed, and, and I could have signed it. It was, it was all right to do. And uh, probably in normal circumstances would have. But by so many times, so this has been brought to court so many times, I didn't want to go sign it without the court approving me doing it because we've talked about it so many times. I can't be for it because that's not what we asked for. The, and if we let this money for some other project, this is a once in a lifetime for the people's not thinking about the future down there. I mean, I do agree with you, but like I said, this is a water board thing and, and they've been on it for an awfully long time. And I don't know how long we've been on it, Judge. We have too. We've been trying to get this. I know. And of course, you know, I personally wanted it done because that's what we did. Yeah, but like too. I said, I'd hate to lose some money. I mean, I'd hate for these other people not to be served too. You know? Even though we would have eventually got to them. I'm assuming, Bo, that if the court were to vote that reallocate, that that would be only based on the uh, acceptance of the state in yes. that reallocation. Yes, agreement. that's correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is moving forward with paperwork, and Grant had asked me to sign it, and I could have. Okay, but, so Grant asked you. But I didn't because it been to this body so many times I didn't want to do it until you'll see it again. Why could we not use this money, what we asked for it for, move forward, and then if we don't have enough, apply for more? Why could we not do that? It would have been enough. Well, we're going to have because they're going to charge us $20,000 a year from the budget to mm -hmm. supplement the maintenance of the water line. It's not really up to us at this point. The grant's written in the water district's name. So with that being the case, unless they vote it through, which they've made it clear that they're not going to, we can't do anything. And I've been to the water board three meetings. You have to. Yep. And I, I hate it as bad as anybody, but that's just the facts of the matter. Yeah, the facts of life sometimes. Well, my vote is we're not going to do the trigger bill project, send her back. That's how I feel about it. I like to do a motion. Did I hear your motion? Uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll make the motion that uh, that we don't send the money back and we go ahead and reallocate it for the future four houses. Okay. And, uh, assuming the state assuming that the state right. recommends the you water board's recommendation. You had a motion second? Yes, I need a second. No, no, uh, Mike McKinney second. Okay. I'll second. second. Okay, second. So, I'll vote college. Thank you. 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 Yes. Morphew? No. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Bennett? Yes. Johnson? No, but the motion passes and I will sign the documentation ordered by the court. Thank you. Our jailer's up next. And by the way, I believe he's actually our security tonight too, I believe. <laughs> but I mean, and is that the deal for the last two meetings? Y'all? That's right. Uh, I'm just here to present my commissary report from July 23 to June of 24. I will give that to Ann, so I just need to put that on the record. Okay, one of you make the motion that he did give it to us. The motion that we received. Second. Okay. Appreciate it. Please give it to us. Yeah. Oh, okay, you want to watch it? Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you, Landon. Thank you. So, all in favor say aye. All the time. It passed. So, uh, since Landon's here, them. I think uh, he's he's done some great things. You you don't need to schedule a visit with him. You can go by and look at the jail and uh, include the work that's going on right now. Appreciate that, Judge. Thank yeah. you. So I'd like to, I'll let you do that. Okay. 
Um, is that what's next on my list here? Am I ready for that? Yeah. Um, okay, uh, I've got to make some appointments to the airport board from expired terms. Um, the first one is John Gaither. Roll call. Let's do it that way. Each one no. of these. We'll do no, let's do them all together. Let's do them all. I thought he got one. I thought he was already. Has he just been reappointed? No, reappointed. They're already. All of them are on there. Okay. Mark Rowe, Jim Duke, and Travis Wilson. So we just wrote call them all. Daniel. Yes. Matthew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Jeff. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnston. Yes. We got a personnel issue here. Just one. Park maintenance. This is an open position. Uh, put name Paul Mays, full time, level two, sixteen dollars and forty nine cents per hour. Go. Daniel. Yes. Morphew. Yes. McKinney. Yes. Bullock. Yes. Bennett. Yes. Johnson. Yes. But we put this closed session on there every time it's on the agenda. But if we don't name it, we don't use it. I didn't explain that to you. Uh, we're ready for committee reports. Have we had any committees as a man to need to make a report? Any committees, man? No, but like you said, the road maintenance. Yes. Road, road committee is going to meet the 13th at 4 o'clock. And the grass thing will be one of the discussions and some equipment and some other things. It's another thing, too. Uh, and Michael, we probably, I think you were on the, were you on the landfill committee? Yes. We probably need to set a meeting for that coming up. Yeah. But Charlie, I thought was going to get with us. I, okay. I, I actually, ready. Charlie's on a missing person thing. He actually had some business for the court. that kind of concerned that we can't do tonight, but we can't without him here. But uh, yeah, he, he's working on it, but he's on a missing uh, person's thing right now. Um, before we do it to the magistrate's uh, comments, I'm going to recognize our assistant road supervisor, Jason Burton's here, and I appreciate he came to the meeting. We didn't have any, if there'd been any big uh, discussion on roads, we would have called him up on it. I'll get with you tomorrow. They have given me several things we need to do. I'll get with you tomorrow. Uh, okay. Let's start on your end, uh, Larry, this time. I've got some things I better not say. I don't have a thing tonight. Brian. Um, the only thing I have a comment on is who, actually a question, who do we have serving on the park board right now, park grant board? It's been inactive for a while. We probably need to get that redone. I, I can't even tell you. Helen's on it. But they've well, met forever. We we met seven or eight years. I know. They exactly. tell them you're represented. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But um, that's a good thing. I'm glad you asked it. We need to push that up and get it going. Sanford's mine in. Yeah. 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 Read this year. No, Joanne. Joanne Sanford's here. Yeah. So that's a couple of us have been there for a while. We probably need to urge them to go ahead and get that going again. Brandy, you have a list of those people? I'm sure I do, yes. Okay. That's the only two I remember. <coughs> it's been so quite long since they may have and have been to, to present anything to hear anyway. Uh, anything else? Bob? Uh, no. Jason? No. Mike? Uh, not really anything specific. We've got some 
equipment. I know with the road department, the bullets might be geared toward Jason. I know y'all have been just kind of short-handed. When are you going to kind of get level back? I know you've had a couple people out. You've got how many open right now? Uh, we hired a full-time two weeks ago. Uh, two meetings ago. Huh? Yeah. We should be good on that, I think. On full time? Yeah. Yeah, I believe we are on full time. And we is the motor trim running every day somewhere? Pretty much. Is it not running? I see on the email I get that not it's every day. Yeah. He's been bouncing back and forth between the motor, the bush hog, and the motor trim. Uh, we, went, we went yesterday afternoon and picked up the John Deere that's been down that pulled from that wing. And hour into this morning, it's parked again. So. Well, your list that you haven't seen yet, you don't have a boat trim on it. But uh, the boat is, I didn't know that this is the right time of year. Yeah, we've run some full time all year. Doing, doing the mowing, but we try to do boat trimming all the time. I just knew that it hadn't been going every day, so I just wondered if that was good. We're waiting. We, right now, we've got one seasonal mowing. That's the only seasonal I think we have. Yeah. One seasonal mowing. We had two, one of them shelves wouldn't let him continue, so he left. We've got one seasonal mowing and one another full time mowing, and then the one bouncing back and forth from mow trim. He's full time. Uh, we need to get uh, two two road mow trim for sure. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, what's the name of that road? Mike? Combs Bridge. Combs Bridge, and and the Home Place Road going into Jerusalem Ridge. Yeah, I know Nick went up and looked at that either Friday or yesterday. Yeah. I want them to show them what they want done, what they didn't want done. Yeah, but the festival's coming up pretty soon, so it will be done. Okay. okay uh, uh, Lane, didn't you get anything for us? No, sir. <coughs> Justin? No, Justin. No, Thank you. Uh, any other county officials here? Because I'm going to start always asking you. Donnie's uh, here? Where's he at? There he is. He's incognito. I didn't know who he was. Donnie, you got anything for us? I got one thing I'd like to bring to everybody's attention while we're here. <coughs> well, he, he can dress down, can he? <laughs> Back last year when we had the renovation done over to the office, at the corner's office, um, we had the new central heat and air installed. When that job was bid, uh, I believe it was bid at 14.7 and it included the entire building. When time came for it to be installed, then they wanted to take backwater and say they could not run duck work out into the three bays. We've not had an issue up until Saturday night. We had 26 people from a family there to view their loved one and it was rather embarrassing because we have four duck work or four duck lines running into an office that's equal to a bathroom and the bays out there has no air circulation whatsoever. It would be a simple fix. My suggestion would be to call the contractor back and let them finish the job that they uh, started because they didn't deduct anything off of the bill from the initial bid and it included the entire thing. And matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken on the figure, I think it was around $4,500 that was added to that because they said that they couldn't run the duck work out there and they installed a separate heater out there. So that made no sense to me. We've got an open flame gas heater in the bays, but no air conditioner or air circulation for the other. The open flame heater would be more dangerous to me, it seems like, if a, if a, a code violation or a code situation would be in question. So okay, well, we'll, we'll get Jerry Bailey on that tomorrow. Can you remind me to ask Jerry for that tomorrow? The, the duct work is, the trunk line is ran right up to the wall of the bays. All they'd have to do is just Create a hole, extend the vent through, and we're good to go. We'll put your right now we have no air circulation out there at all. We'll get him to check that out. You remember the contractor? Uh, Marty Shepard. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They, they bid it initially to include the whole building, 
the office, bathroom, and the three bays. But then when it came time to install it, he said, no, we, have, we can't put it up to them. But they didn't trim their price back on any of it, and they accepted that bid. Okay. So. We'll get that looked into it. Okay. I appreciate all y'all do. Thank I know you. you've really had it rough for, the, for a long time. It's been a rough stretch this year. Yeah. Thank you, Donnie. Thank you. Uh, well, Justin, did I ask you? Yeah, just everything. Okay. okay. Has anybody from the general public got anything for the good of the body? Hey, I do. Yeah. It's something simple. Um, down Lafayette, like where uh, Lisa's place is now. Yeah. Um, the semis visit there, which is great. We love we love business, but they come out and they try to turn left on Taylor Mine Road, and they can't make that left turn. So they have to turn right and then back down Taylor Mine Road and they get stuck. And so can we get a sign down by Lisa's place saying no semis? It's actually a city thing. So Taylor Mine Road is ours, so we can Yeah, talk yeah, I, I told them no, that. And, but, it, it's a city but then time. we get like, uh, but then Taylor Mine, there is county. So I get confused. Like where, no, where do I right. go? Who do I talk by, to? By Lisa's City. Yeah, but there's well, no reason. Ours and then, right. yeah. There's no yeah. reason we can't. <laughs> so I'm like, who do I go to to talk? Yeah. Because my road is county, but then that's city, and it gets all like crazy. And then Jason, I get a sign and send the beer down half the bill. <laughs> okay, that'll be fine. Why don't you work with Larry Carter and see what you get done? Yeah. Hey, and thank you for getting trucks out there and getting out to that ditch. Did, did they get out there? They did. Uh, okay, so I called that day. They were out on uh, Mine Fork Road. I don't know. You might know because you're probably out at the. But I, I sent them the pictures and they were on Mine Fork Road. And I said, hey, uh, would you come out there and look at that? Yeah. We're, we're and and the see. pictures you sent me, in all honesty, really, there's a. To the left Taylor side. There, Taylor Mine and Lafayette there. The water was getting across the road. I, I think that ditch line there that runs. Through the back to the field, yeah. Really, it needs to be cleaned out. I think so too. Because it, it breaks. Everything. But then again, when, like I said, you know, we run into that issue. Is it city? Is it county? Well, when you get, when you get 15 foot off the right away, that's the yeah. landowners. Yeah. And really, the, the trees growing up in that that yeah that that's probably causing a lot. But I did tell them to go out there and look at that. But then the landowner there is hard to work with. So is what hard to work with. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and listen, we get that all the time. Yeah. But yeah, once you get so far off that right away, but I do think that kind of slows it down a little bit. Yeah. The ditch needs to be cleaned out, but whoever gets that is. Okay. But, no problem. But we'll, we'll work with city then. So we need to get city to get one down closer to Taylor Mine Road then, or down okay. by Lisa's place, right? Are you going to, I mean, I don't mind. Are you going to. You, you want the sign by Lisa's place? Yeah. Because what they're they're visiting Lisa's place and then they're coming. They're going around by Lonnie Halls yeah. and they're going all the way down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they can't make that right See, hand turn. See, when they Taylor Mine, if you go right, that's county. If you go left, that's city. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah. where the line is right there. Yeah. Where, on your end, I guess where you live. I live right behind Bluegrass Bed. Okay. Yeah. And so they're, and it, it's fun for us to watch because trucks are backing city. up and trying to get yeah. out. It's it's very entertaining, but it's not something that. Sure, everybody wants to do I'll call Larry. I'll call yeah, they'll work it out. This is Whatever you need my help, or I'll call Paul. Mr. Haney. I'll let my neighbor Charles Davison go first. He's got a little issue. I'm Charles, <clears throat> Charles Davison. Uh, I'm over the cemetery up the place. Uh, Gentry Petty Cemetery up uh, around there is, and that's a cemetery. We take care of it, Can you and it's a closer to the mic? 37 people there. And the county road likes about two miles maintaining going up there. So we need the county Hello. to maintain that road up there. Can you hear me? Uh, we need the county to maintain that road up there that other two miles to keep that up because there is a lot of people that, like it says 137, there's still a lot of people who like to go visit it 
and we have to go up there and cut it uh, once a month, and the road needs gr uh, grading, and it needs a little rock on do, it. Do you know if it is County Road? Yeah. Okay. What, what road is it? Yeah. What, what, what road is that, sir? What road is it? Uh, Huff Creek, Landry. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's it turns. Turn right, go up there to the cemetery. Yeah. Will you check it out and see if it is ours, if there's anything to do about it? It's ours. It's ours. <laughs> he didn't try to get out of it. It's ours. So we'll get take care of that. Okay. If it's Thank county you. road, we're going to maintain it. Thank I've been up there on horseback once. Thank you. Hey, Jason. Is uh, that road chip and seal so far, then go to gravel? No. It's all gravel. All gravel. Well, you get to Gasburg there in, on Hall Lane take it right and then it goes down to that low water cross and that's Wilkins Hill goes up there and then up creek the gravel part okay it goes all the way winds around to the cemetery on top of the hill yeah Charles I think you mentioned it to me once before and uh, uh, I, I make notes of stuff and then I lose them so so you have to keep reminding us I'm glad you did is the creek the, we cross the creek here is that uh, Wilkins Hill Wilkins Hill that's Joanne Hines, there in the corner. I'm not sure who lives there. Only one I know is like there's Corey Wallace. I know he lives back there. We don't have very many gravel roads like any more. It's not chipped off. That's a good road. Good. Good work on it. <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, Randy Haney 2003 Shree Road. Uh, some of you people I'm new to, some of you I, I'm not. But. Uh, It'll soon be three years since the tornado, and I've got five years before that. Get get my log jam out, and uh, <clears throat> it's supposedly out now, but it isn't. I'm uh, hoping you guys can help me. Uh, uh, like I said, that's my neighbor Charles Davison, and he'll vouch for me. And Dudley Harrell, I think you guys know Dudley Harrell. He's in charge of hunting on my place. I do. And uh, I'm not put, trying to put the herd on Carol Ralph, but the three of us know he's got about 30 days' work there that he did. And his cost is $1,200 a day. So that's uh, $36,000, and he's fixing to collect $325,000. Now, that's the American way, I understand that, and I don't blame him as much as I blame Natural Resources Conservation Service. They've signed up, signed off with him, but the rub here is, and I took Carol out there and showed him that job before he bid it, and I had a log jam like you wouldn't believe. I've lost an acre of ground, acre of ground. I, I've seen it, I've been there. Okay, so, Carol knew he had to take it out, but then he started backing up on it, and I said, what's going on? So, Charlie Shields and I and Natural Resources, we met. And Natural Resources said, in order to get that uh, uh, little stuff out of there, it would require another study in engineering. And this cleanup is for debris, not sediment. But I've got I've got their paperwork right here and it's baloney. But they've got, you know, everybody's got all different ways of getting around things. But the guy has, uh, now Carol, and I mean, I, I hate to say this, but now when this all came up about he couldn't do it, he told me, he said, now, when I sign off on this, when things cool down, if you'll give me $300, I'll go over there and clean that out. I, that's terrible. That to me, that's terrible. But that that's the human human way of doing things. So my, and I'm telling you, when they, when I heard they were done, I had already looked some because I've been I've been watching. I've been watching, and uh, I went to where he put straw down, where he reclaimed all the, probably 35 places he worked. And some of it is CRP that, that USDA will be hammering on me to fix it. And I'll bet you, I, I could not, 
two different times. My wife and I, Sunday, we went out and looked, took our Sunday afternoon and went out and looked. I can't find no grass seed anywhere. And we have had a good rain. Now we've had another good rain. No grass, no grass, no grass, but I'd be willing to let all that slide. And I'm not looking to put the hammer on Carol, but you'd think between you people and me, we could get that other side cleaned out. And he's saying he can do it. And he told me what he needs to do is dig down a, a little bit of a shelf, and he can get most of that out of there. And my gosh, I think we should make him do it. Yeah, Some be, shape or form. Like I said, Charlie's only missing the person thing. He planned to be here for this. But uh, we'll tell you what, we'll get him and NRCS back out there and look at it. Yeah, well, like you say, that, that may be a detriment. I don't know. And like I say, I'm willing to let this, and, and another point I, I just want to make, my, uh, Dudley Harrell, I talked to him the other day, and his, uh, Carol's track hoe sat from October till three weeks ago broke down. And a guy that's hunting, he would know that. He had to make a road 400 foot long along the river with a dozer to get the stuff out of the river. I went, my son and I went this spring because he was making some progress. He had piles, he burned some piles. But my son and I went this spring to see if he had done anything there because he broke down there. And I'm telling you, there's a 450 foot area there along the river that he had to make a road with a dozer. So you know he knocked stuff down, okay? And I know, and he even, I was shocked, but he even had a tree in there that he couldn't get out with his hole. It was too big. And Kyle Addington didn't get over there to help him, so he brought another bigger hole in for about a week. But the weeds are this tall in that 450 foot area so i have pictures on this camera but it's all you can do to walk back there and he didn't do nothing with any of that nothing with any of them well i appreciate you bringing that to our attention but we as a court won't be able to do anything about it now yeah, I mean tonight. I'm not right, sure right. But we we will make calls. Yeah, well, I've got uh, plenty of time. I've had a year. I've had to put up with Carol on my farm for a year. I mean, I haven't even been able to pasture cattle where I needed to. I, I never when I needed to. I never understood why it took so long. I swear. But anyway, we we will look into it. How were the other projects that we did that the day? That, that was the only one we really had issue with. That was put to last. Yeah, and with you saying that, it's very interesting because I've, I've got a pretty good relationship with Charlie, but he put a few things off on me when I talked to him. But Judge, you know, my my wife and I were here at the pre-bed meeting, yes, and we signed. We were the first person to sign to get this job done, mm -hmm. and we're almost the last one. There's one more, one more jam to clean down the river a little bit and see Carol, Carol's going to do that or he'd be gone but he's going to do that then he's going to walk around and supposedly finish me up but okay. what I'm nervous about here is all it would take would be natural resources to say hey you can't do that but that's that's the world we live in today you know we'll, 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 we'll do what we can get back on I didn't know until Charlie did give me a heads up today, yeah. but that's the first time I knew that we had an issue there. He's working on it. Like I said, he couldn't be here tonight. Cause I understand. Back. I talked to Charlie. He was maybe going to come out this morning. Yeah. A 60, and, a 60 and, and look at, But I don't, uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to bite off my nose and spite my face here, but I've, I've been through plenty, and I, I just want, as a taxpayer, to get my money's worth. And thirty-six thousand dollars and get paid three twenty-five is a little bit too much profit for me. I understand. Thank you. Anybody else got anything for the good of the body? If not, we will be adjourned. We'll be back here at the road committee meeting at four and the fifth court meeting at five on the thirteenth of August.